Tesla's Coming AI Day is going to be an event that you don't want to miss. Not only are you going to learn about the latest and greatest tech from Tesla, but you're also going to get a chance to meet some of the team behind it. In this video, we're going to give you an overview of all the latest news and developments in Tesla's AI world, so you can stay up to date with all the latest trends and happenings. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. To say that the 2020s have been a pivotal decade for AI would be an understatement. In just a few years, AI has gone from being something only used in laboratories to becoming present in our daily lives. With such a rapid expansion, it's no wonder that this year's Tesla AI Day is going to be jam-packed with exciting news and announcements. Elon Musk recently announced that Tesla will hold a second AI Day, during which many cool updates are going to get released. After being pushed back originally from August 19th, the event's now going to take place on the 30th of September. If held at the previous date, it would have been exactly one year after Tesla's first AI Day. At the moment, we know that Tesla's AI Day will take place at Palo Alto, California. The event was publicized on both the Tesla website and the company's official YouTube channel last year. Although the start time of the live stream is yet to be confirmed, it's expected that it's going to be 5pm PT or 8pm ET as did the last one. Elon Musk has prioritized both Optimus and an updated Smart Summon feature for the event. Both projects have an end-of-month deadline, according to the tech billionaire. Musk and his team have also hinted that the prototype of the Tesla bot is going to be available by the end of September. The Tesla CEO revealed on Twitter that the company's AI Day has been postponed to September 30th in order to coincide with the launch of Tesla's Optimus, which is a very big and ambitious project. He also gave hints on this in a tweet he made earlier in June, stating that a functioning prototype might be revealed at the end of September in conjunction with Tesla's AI Day. After this statement was sent out over a tweet, there were numerous other statements made, in official speeches and conferences by his team. Over the course of the conferences and presentations, following Elon Musk's tweet and the numerous statements after this, the image of Optimus gradually began to take shape. The robot stands at 5.8 feet tall, can easily be mistaken for a human if dressed in a Daft Punk jumpsuit and helmet. The upper half of the body, above the shoulders, is covered in a black mesh, which mostly hides its speakers and its body is dressed in white and grey. The robot weighs slightly more than 123 pounds and has a top speed of 8 kilometers an hour which is somewhere between walking and running speeds. Its neck, legs and arms are all mobile and can be used to carry and lift objects weighing up to 20 kilos and 68 kilos. Unfortunately, according to a tweet conversation between Elon Musk and famous YouTuber Dave Lee, the prototype might not resemble any of the Optimus images that have been previously circulated. The robot's face is portrayed as having a sophisticated, smooth and deep black screen that's going to serve as the user interface once the robot's powered on. In the recent advertisement Musk penned for China Cyberspace, the publication of the Chinese government's Cyberspace Administration, it looks rather realistic, and this organization is in charge of monitoring and censoring the Chinese internet. The Tesla CEO stated that his company is a breeding ground for solutions for a more sustainable future, and mentioned the Tesla bot in passing, while revealing some previously unreleased details about them. It is a clear indicator that this is done in a bid to draw in new investments. In his message, Musk pointed out that Tesla is transforming into one of the leading robotics companies in the world as a result of its ongoing advancements in both AI and technology. He explains that Optimus was designed with legs rather than wheels because it's intended to replicate what humans can do and replace them in certain tasks that require bodily movements and a set of abilities similar to humans. Furthermore, he claimed that by modeling the Tesla robot on an appearance of a human, then it would be much easier for it to blend in with its surroundings because most human interactions are with people who have two legs, two arms and ten fingers. Musk stated that the prototype's AI is going to get improved and the issue of mass production will be resolved. Tesla is also expected to provide information on the creation of its new self-driving chip and the Dojo supercomputer technology. The automaker unveiled the Dojo chip and a functional tile at the first AI day, but it's not yet assembled a complete cluster to build the complete supercomputer in time. During the first AI day, Musk was the first person to announce the existence of the Dojo program. He said, We do have a major program at Tesla, which we don't have enough time to talk about today, called Dojo. 
that's a super powerful training computer, and the goal of it is to take in vast amounts of data and train at a video level and do unsupervised massive training on vast amounts of video with the Dojo program or Dojo computer. In June 2020, Musk tweeted that the Dojo training supercomputer is going to be available to process vast amounts of video training data and efficiently run hyperspace arrays with a vast number of parameters, plenty of memory, and ultra-high bandwidths between cores. He also stated that more information is going to be given out on this later. Now, here's the interesting bit. The Dojo D1 chip, which provides outstanding computer performance and bandwidth, is at the heart of the design. By training its enormous neural networks, Tesla discovered that the available computer platforms were unreliable for developing self-driving technology. Thus, the automaker also hinted that Dojo might soon be made accessible to other AI-focused businesses. Ganesh Venkataramanan, Senior Director of Autopilot Hardware at Tesla and a speaker at 2020's AI Day, is in charge of the Dojo project, and he was a key member of AMD's CPU design team for nearly a decade and a half. Emil Talpez, who worked on previous Opteron processors at AMD for nearly 17 years, gave the presentation on the Dojo processor that his team created. Debjit Das Sama, who was a CPU architect at AMD for nearly as long and is now the autopilot hardware architect at Tesla, was also mentioned in the interview. Other members of the team include Bill Chang, the carmaker's principal system engineer who spent a decade and a half at IBM Microelectronics designing IP blocks and working on manufacturing processors before assisting Apple in moving away from its x86 processors and towards its own ARM chips, and then Rajiv Kurian, who has worked on autonomous car platforms at Tesla. Aside from the Dojo supercomputer, Tesla's also expected to reveal more details about its progress on its FSD beta, which was first released in October 2020, and was then later expanded a year later. The FSD beta program currently has a fleet of over 100,000 vehicles in the US and Canada, and Tesla hopes to have approximately 1 million beta users by the end of 2022. What does this mean then for EV makers like Tesla and its investors? Keep watching to find out. Tesla vehicles can travel autonomously to a location specified in the navigation system thanks to the FSD beta program, but the driver must always be alert and prepared to take over. Tesla's FSD beta is still regarded as a level 2 driver assistance system because a majority of the driving lies with the driver rather than Tesla's system. In order to advance towards its goals of making the system truly self-driving and transferring responsibility for driving safely to Tesla, Tesla is essentially using its consumer and customer fleet to test the features, capabilities, and gather data. Due to the potential risk of testing the software with customers on public roads, the FSD beta program seems divisive. However, the car company does seem to be fairly cautious in the rollout, gradually extending it to more owners. Musk recently confirmed that Tesla is extending the FSD beta program to 160,000 owners in the US and Canada. For the first time in a very long time, Tesla has decided to expand its beta program, and the FSD beta is going to have more than 160,000 participants after 60,000 new owners joined the program. Critics have admitted that despite the fact that the FSD beta system still hasn't met its initial objectives, Musk and Tesla are rapidly pursuing the extremely challenging goal of commercializing AI humanoid robots. However, one cannot be too sure of these things. Musk predicted that by the year 2019, there will be more than 1 million Tesla robo taxis on the road. Not only has that not happened, but it also doesn't appear to be that way anytime soon. Regardless though, we're eager to hear out any more information coming from Tesla at its AI Day 2. What are your expectations for this year's event then? Do you think the Optimus robot is finally coming out? Let us know down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to know how Tesla's been doing in the last few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there!